Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Apple event. I'm going to sort of recap it in a very fast fashion. And we're going to talk about the three devices that were discussed today during the event. Uh, first up is going to be the iPhone 6, and that is what it's called. And just as it turns out, this dummy here that we did the mock-up review of a few weeks back was pretty damn close to being spot on guys so these Chinamen definitely know what they're talking about whenever they put these things out uh, it's just not a fluke and I want to share a few things with you the uh, power button is relocated it will be on the on the right side of the display now everything else is going to be flush with the display it says all other buttons will stay as they were before. So that's going to be the only change. Besides the increase in size, you're going to be getting an iPhone 6 4.7 inch display along with a 5.5 inch display. And they're calling it the iPhone 6 Plus. Now for resolution, you're going to have uh, on the iPhone 6, you're going to have 1334 by 750 and the iPhone 6 plus is going to be a 1080p display running at 1920 by 1080 so that's going to be an awesome device to say the least and just so you know what it looks like guys this in my hand is the 4.7 inch display iphone dummy 6 and right here i'm going to hold it up as close as i can here in this in this video for you to see screen wise I'll put a close-up shot in the video so you can get a better look at it. But it's just a lot bigger, guys, the 4.7-inch display. I can't even imagine what the 5.5-inch display is going to look like because you're going to be adding almost another inch to this display. So it's going to be great. And there's going to be some changes in the size formations. Uh, normally, we'd get a 1632 and 64 and so on. This They're changing that lineup a little bit. It's going to be, a, you're going to still have the 16 gigabyte iPhone 6. Starting price on a two-year contract will be dun, 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 $199. That did not change. Now, if you're going for the iPhone 6 Plus, that will be $299 for the iPhone 6 Plus on a 16 gigabyte. Now, they're going to skip the 32. It's no longer going to be available, and they're going from these these. 16 to the 64 gig and it's going to jump only a hundred bucks in price guys so i thought that was pretty damn good because normally when you go from 16 to 32 you go an increase in a hundred bucks and when you go on up to the 64 it was a 200 price 200 dollar price increase they're only bumping the price a hundred bucks which i thought was awesome the the colors are going to be space gray silver and gold Pretty much the same thing overall, guys. We're just going to be getting the new iOS firmware, which is iOS 8. If you haven't seen any of those new video features of the iOS 8 features I did, I'll link them up in the uh, annotations and in the description box below so you can check those out. And you're going to have a whopping 128 gigabyte. You heard that right, guys. 128 gigabytes. It's going to be... $399 for the iPhone 6, $499 for the iPhone 6 Plus. So you can sort of get a feel of whatever it is, how much you want to spend, and whatever, how much size you think you need. Personally, I think 64 is about the sweet spot for anybody. If you're a power user, you know, somebody that does a lot of heavy gaming, the 128 gig would probably be the route you want to take. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much how it looked overall today in the iPhone category. Now there's one other thing that happened today. We got the Apple Watch. Can you finally believe it? That they finally took the plunge. Apple's giving us a wearable. But I got some bad news. It's not coming until 2015. Now these uh, iPhone 6 is going to go on sale here just in the next couple weeks. Pre-order starts September 12th and I think the week after Maybe the 19th is when it actually hits the stores, the Apple iPhone 6 and the Plus. But now the Apple iPhone Watch, I keep wanting to call it the iWatch, which it's not called that. It's called the Apple Watch. 
is going to be 2015. You're going to have to wait early 2015. So probably something like February, I guess, is what I might, might I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't know it for sure. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget, always stay close to iPhone Captain for all of your Apple, iOS news, reviews, City of Twigs, anything you need to know. We're right there for you. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And keep coming back.